pause so you don't miss anything. If you're just coming in, you're seeing Hugh Jazz reverse Tracy Smothers. A little bit ago, Tracy Smothers was dominating. This man wrestled bears, like live bears. Ooh, nice spine buster counter. So, so again, you said you're rooting for the guys who address the wrestle. Yes. Tracy Smothers just did a set out scoop slam on Hugh Jazz. Hey, Shock Man, or Shock Pastor there just dressed like he's going to a bar. Shock Pastor wrestles in blue jeans. Right now he's wearing... Just like any other indie card. He's a general manager, not really a competitor. I mean, me personally, I go out and re wrestle in vinyl and leather. I would actually want to be mobile. Wrestling in jeans just sounds like hell. Well, Hugh Jass is dressed in wrestling tights and a vest. So, I mean, he's actually, that's how he dresses. Well, yeah, I'm just saying jeans. That shit is not exactly cool. Hey, don't bl don't don't look at me. Look at him. He's the one that he's the one that wrestled a shockmaster like that. He wore jeans. I mean, this is an actual modified shockmaster attire. Um, the stream is lagging again. I hope your shit doesn't crash again. Right now we're still live till it crashes. If it crashes again, I'm gonna yeah. if it crashes again, I'm gonna put it on my uh I'm gonna put it on my mobile. I'm gonna put it on my mobile data. Right now, little Guido getting some of huge ass. The FBI really isolating huge ass. And there's a lot there's a lot of experience on the side of the full blood of the time. But there's a hot tag yeah. and here comes the shock master. He's the veteran and the mentor of huge ass. Tracy Smothers cutting the ring off, though. Tracy Smothers. Tracy Smothers, being a cruiserweight, actually very power-based against the bigger men. That's what you gotta be. Nice leaning DDT. I wonder how much damage that DDT does to the Storm System. Tracy Smothers with a spine buster slam. I imagine that Storm Trooper helmet provides little in the way of protection. If anything, I see it as a detriment. Uh oh, bear hug. Tracy Smothers getting a hug. Pastor trying to get the tap out. Tracy Smothers get, countering that bear hug. I mean, bear wrestling, bear hug. I mean, the man knows how to deal with it. Right back to the tag team, tag teaming Guido. As soon as there's trouble, the FBI is so experienced and dominant. Now Shock Pastor tags in Hugh Jazz, and now Hugh Jazz can start coming in with building the momentum. But Guido evading. But there's another four. Forearm smash. And a big boot attempt again countered by Guido. Hugh Jass gonna look for something here. Guido says, No, you're not. That was Guido. Let me get the hell out of there. Guido's actually staying one step ahead of Hugh Jazz. Guido looking for sliced bread number Sicilian sliced bread. And that's it. Little Guido gets the win over Hugh Jass, and the FBI puts another win on the that, board. That just goes to show you experience trumps all in most cases. 
Shock Pastor. Impressive ha- victory by little Guido in the FBI. Well, you got to remember, Shock Pastor is has the most experience in this match. But the thing is, is Hugh Jass doesn't hasn't been wrestling more than three years. Yeah, that's correct. <clears throat> to the races for our next second match. Miss Fear is offering an open challenge to any woman in the back that wants it. Let's see who steps to the curtain next on FMW. Corruption. Don't you just love these... interesting one. Don't you just love those open challenges? Of course. Unless the open challenge is accepted by someone like fucking War Horse. By There's who? a fucking wrestler. A fucking indie wrestler that they had on Dynamite during the pandemic. He was awful. Just think Ultimate Warrior in a fucking rockhead phase. Doing all that fucking head banging and shit. Whoa, yeah! So like Jericho and Lance Storm when they were a tag team. Look him up when you get a chance and you'll be disgusted. Not much disgust me anymore. Then again, if it's AEW, it does. Weighing in at 1,000 pounds of raw heavy metal! Warhorn! My hand, my right hand has more charisma when I'm alone in it. Didn't, didn't quite get the sad off. part is you are 100% right on that one. My right hand has more charisma on the night that I have to use it because sex wasn't enough for me to get off. That's what you call longevity, buddy. That's what you call a fucking Well, Warhouse, yes. Masturbating after sex, not so much. Miss Fear has a present. She's one of the most... She's a veteran in this women's division. Three and a half years undefeated. I don't care who you are in wrestling. That undefeated streak puts Goldberg to shame. The only man that went undefeated longer than her, Andre the Giant in WWE. 14 years undefeated. Can you guess who ended that undefeated streak? Brother. That part of that part of that match got lost. They edited that part out. They don't want Vince doesn't like undefeated streaks. He doesn't want to acknowledge it. But Miss Fear, she's issued an open challenge. Miss Fear is the number one contender for Manami Toyota's title. Last week injured Manami Toyota. But here comes Cassie. This woman has not won a match yet since debuting.
She's not undefeated. She just hit. Miss Fear said, no, enough of the posturing. Now Cassie's starting to fight back. Cassie gets in the ring just to get a suplex. Diving headbutt to the back of Cassie from Miss Fear. Due to that elbow drop, but Cassie moved out of the way. And now Miss Fear looking for the choke slam. This fear is just going to let her get counted out, sending the message. Just not having the night tonight. Yeah, but her last two losses can't be anything like this. This is. And now we're looking at another choke slam, but Cassie finds some life.
every time Cassie finds something, Miss Fear is right there to say no. Talking. Here it comes, the fear driver. And the referee counts, and this fear lets go. Anymore. It's over. There's another fear driver. And Miss Fear with a third fear driver. That's it. What do you think the chances of Manami Toyota suffering the same fate as Cassie did just did? This woman has been putting woman after woman after woman on the shelf. Wait a minute, Miss Fear is good. now Miss Fear is getting out of the ring. What is what is on her mind now? Apparently hitting the referee. Most of yours. And then Miss Fear laying the steel chair down. And Miss Fear going for a fourth fear driver. On the chair! Oh my god, Cassie. Gonna be hauled out of here on a stretcher after that. Your thoughts, Billard. She better get some weight back because she's gonna be feeling it for the next few months. Eat all this crap over here. Huh. That 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 fear driver on the stairs made me cringe, and I could be a sadistic bastard. But up next, we have we go from one sadistic person to another. We have Cactus Jack in a no holds barred match taking on the chairman Laparka. I mean, it's a good clash of styles, you know, hardcore versus Lucha Libre. You can never go wrong with the chairman. Unless his name used to be, unless he was Vincent Kennedy in the command, then having him booking your, being the head booker of your show, always a bad idea. <laughs> because despite what people say, he is not the chairman of the board. But here we go. Well, here comes the first competitor, Cactus Jack. Fun fact. Bang Bang originally meant he was going to make sure you get blown up in a landmine death match. You think we'll see any landmines here tonight? What about electric? 
What about electrified barbed wire or C4 drum cans? Well, in Japan, they had C4 can, you know, C4 tied to fucking gunpowder drum cans. They clear the dick. They're not. They have cactus death matches for fun. Who do you give this match to? I really don't have an opinion. You know why? You know why I don't have an opinion? Because this is going to be a good match for either way. No matter who wins, everybody in the audience wins tonight. Because both of these men are veterans. Both of them are legends. And they're completely different styles. It's nice to see La Parca back. It's nice to see La Parca back out here in a match. It's always nice to see La Parca, especially when he runs up behind you. Especially when he runs, especially when he runs up behind you with a steel chair. But I don't know how much. What was with that twirl? Nice atomic drop by Cactus Jack. Both of these men are very have very unique approaches. Cactus Jack, Cactus Jack is a lot more straightforward but sadistic. La Parca more unique, flamboyant. Usually these two just psychologically get into the other guy's head. But considering there ain't much going on in Cactus Jack's and La Parca's kind of unshakable due to his experience, but right now La Parca putting on a good show. I mean, your money's on Cactus Jack. Well, Parker went to go for a win early. I guess make Cactus Jack use up that stamina by kicking out. Cactus Jack with a nice counter. Yep, just raking the mask into the eye hole. But La Parca getting the upper hand here. Nice combo by La Parca. I'm enjoying this, man. I mean, the, the quality of these... I mean, you know, you know La Parca is going to get more offense in. He's faster. He's got more variety in what he does. And Cactus Jack can take a beating. But, the, you know... La Parca... I think him and Crazy D should probably be a tag team. La Parca kind of moving slow here, keeping Cactus Jack grounded. What does La Parca call his finisher? Elbow across the throat by La Parca, but only two. Exactly two, not two is one fourth or nothing. Cactus Jack, such a resilient. It, a brilliant competitor. Well, he's been through death matches, been exploded, electrified, blown up, lit on fire, blasted with the fluorescent light tubes and barbed wire. And, I mean, what, you know, you got to expect this man's going to be tough.
The Parker, anytime Cactus Jack gets anything going, the Parker's right there to shut it down. It's a running seated sometimes. You need some mission hold too. I gotta give you Parker a lot of credit, man. He is really putting on the show. I'll let you call that. Lepart, this. Lepart, well, that's the thing. Cactus Jack is tough. He's got power, you know, surprisingly very good on the brawling end, but Laparco was just moving and grounding him and shutting anything he had. He had the a speed and agility advantage. I mean, anytime Cactus Jack would get anything, he just shut it down. Lucha Libre proves to be victorious over hardcore wrestling. Cactus Jack just couldn't get anything going. And, he, and now we're going to get La Parca dancing. bad part is I think that's the dude love dancing animation. Oh, God. Well, up next we have Nighthawk versus Cerebellum. Cerebellum a couple of, a few weeks back got a win on Corruption over Nighthawk. I mean over Cerebellum. And Nighthawk pinned him to get that win. Cerebellum took offense last week. He beat the shit out of Nighthawk. Tonight, he named his stipulation. He won last week. He challenged Nighthawk to a first blood. He won. Tonight, he finally gets his wish. Nighthawk will be taking on the king of the first blood in a first blood match. Nighthawk says it's pathetic to... It's Obviously, I'm under some fucking technical difficulty here. No fault of my own. Right now, we're getting brawl on the outside. Nighthawk with a Nighthawk trying to oh. fight back. Nighthawk trying to fight back on the outside. But another stunner just shuts that man down. And that's it. This match never... Cerebellum this never match even left the... Before it began. Cerebellum never even left the stage. Nighthawk took the fight to him. But it wasn't enough. Cerebellum in the ring to, get the, to declare his win. Nighthawk laid out up on the on the ramp. Night Cerebellum with that smug smile. Cerebellum is a very unique competitor. Made completely of brain matter. So I gotta ask, Bill. Does that mean that he's all brain power? That whole match was a mind fuck. Did you hear the sound? Nighthawk had no chance of even getting started. Nighthawk's the one that took the fight to him. Which, looking back, was a mistake. 
Yeah. Because he just got his ass whooped. Nighthawk is good at submission and ground game. He'll beat you down and then break down your break you down, go out start suplexing you, punching you, kicking you, getting you on the ground, and then he'll start working your arm over. Cerebellum is the kind of guy that just beats the shit out of you till you can't move anymore and then you bust you open and then tries to end you. Either way, that was not a smart decision by Nighthawk. Well, this match has been confirmed to be a falls count anywhere. That's what the wheel decided. So, who is the contender? John Moxley, the IWGP United States Heavyweight Champion. With the now worst wrestling theme out of anybody now. Why is that? Did you hear what they fucking changed it to? Nope. Wild thing. I'm not even joking. I heard pretty soon he's going to go wrestle Nick Gage. Wild thing. You make my heart sing. Like, come on. Apparently that's a tribute to some deathmatch guy, but... Was it at Sushi Onita? Uh, I believe so, honestly. John Moxley is the random contender, and here comes the champion. Ricky Mass, or the weapon of mass destruction. Who do you give this match to? The Death Rider, John Moxley? Or the Weapon of Mass Destruction? I would have to go with Moxley. He is just one unpredictable son of a bitch. Here we go. Abandoned championship on the line. You got John Moxley versus the big man. And Moxley going in, going in hard. This is not. AEW John Moxley, this is Japan John Moxley, the Death Rider. And Ricky Mass with the power to break it down. Ricky Mass using that power and those strikes. That is the savage style. Nice super kick to the back of the head by Ricky Mass. Miller? Yeah, sorry about that. <clears throat> Ricky Mass went for a moonsault. A moonsault. 380 pounds going for a moonsault. No, I would not want to be on the receiving end of that. Even though Moxley countered it. That has to be rough on the knees counter. And Moxley comes over with a combination. Ricky Mass trying to get a hold of him and Moxley refusing to let him. You don't want to mess with Moxley, that's all you can really say. Big, small, he'll, he'll take on anybody. Not give a damn. Nice swinging DDT there by Mark Mass. 
Ricky Mass looking for that moonsault again. And he just hit it. Ow. Ricky Mass with the with the mat with the savage go round. This big man's going back up to the top rope. Oh my god! He's, he's doing the Macho Man time! It's the Savage Elbow! But Moxley kicked out. Ricky Mass not happy about this. Now's where the frustration starts to set in. just gave Moxley a ref hug. Big points for that. And I just gave Moxley a bulldog. And he just gets to go here. And Ricky Max just did a springboard set rolling senton over the top rope. Motherfucker just loves to fly, don't he? Indeed he does. Coming after the referee once more. Throwing the referee to the outside. Now just taking it to Moxley with the chair. Moxley is yet to get going now. It has been all mass. Oh, right into the ring. Mass got that power bomb. Is that enough to put down Moxley at end? Moxley just... Um, Moxley's head just... Did you see the way it thudded off of the ring apron? That was brutal. This big man... Moxley just completely destroyed. I wouldn't say destroyed. He got some offense in. Clearly but I, not enough. I, you got a 380-pound monster throwing you around the ring. And then watch this power bomb right here, this jackknife power bomb. Look at how Moxley's arm and neck just slid off of that ring at the edge of that ring apron. That was a knockout shot. Moxley may have a concussion. Which is another day at the office for Moxley. But Ricky Mass, still your champion, coming out tonight with his savage style. Ricky Mass says, come on, next week, I got you. I mean, my professional opinion, there was a message being sent. Absolutely a message And that message sent. said, hey, you're going to get destroyed if you face me. Which, which he did. Why is your face on the cover of my brand again, Emi? You're not even a champion anymore, damn it! <laughs> the curse of the... <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, for real, I mean, look, you can see it on the screen, look! Look, but dude, look, look, look. I will show you my champion. Clearly, e Mai is not one of them. Minoru Suzuki, the tag champions. AEW champion. Briefcase, junior heavyweight.
you know what? I'll do that. There we go. Well, I don't get that, but okay. Anyways, Bill, do you have anything you want to say about the show before we end it? Eh, really good show tonight. A lot of bump sets and complete domination. Overall, a very good show. Hope everybody enjoyed it. We know we did. But we will be back next week. Or we will be back Wednesday, in fact. Right, Bill? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, ladies and gentlemen, until then, thank you all for tuning in. Please support the official release, and, you know, most of all, stay golden. Stay golden. Me and Billard will be regardless.